Hey, how you doing? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about a method called the Wim Hof Method. This method is, to be honest, probably one of the most profound methods that I have come across um, due to the impact that it has um, relative to the um, effort that you have to put in. It's quite extraordinary really and, and it has such a broad array of influence on um, not only on our physiology but on our mindset clarity and aligning ourselves truly with um, feeling full of life and vitality and decreasing our levels of stress. And so um, I just want to share with you just on a bit of a broad scientific um, explanation of just why it is that this method is so incredibly effective. And um, the first thing is that this method, the simplicity of it works on that, it works on the premise of three areas. One of them is on a specific type of breathing combined with a specific type of focus combined with a third component which is exposing ourselves to um, cold immersion, immersing ourselves in cold um, climate frequently. But first I'm just going to talk about um, the breathing and in conjunction with the uh, focus. So essentially in this, in this technique what we're doing is we're going to be increasing our levels of oxygen and decreasing our levels of um, carbon dioxide. And what this essentially does is it essentially fills the entire cardiovascular system including the blood flow system to the brain with oxygen and decreases the CO2 levels, the carbon dioxide levels. And um, what this does with a certain type of focus that I'll be explaining after this is it essentially causes our um, pineal gland which is responsible for releasing our hormones in our into our bloodstream and in throughout our body it increases the level of hormonal activity where we increase our levels of um, of endorphins such as epinephrine um, dopamine serotonin these things start raising and getting released in far greater quantities naturally through um, the bloodstream Essentially what this does is it causes a um, harmony and a hormonal balance in the body to start bal balancing out all our imbalances that are there due to excess stress, due to excess mind activity and um, due to uh, injury that has occurred throughout the body where there's not enough blood flow moving through certain areas. So. Um, yeah, so essentially what, what this looks like is that we're breathing in fully deeply in and we're letting go. Fully in and letting go. And in the second video I'll explain a little bit more specifically about the technique. But at the same time as we're breathing in this way to increase our oxygen and decrease our CO2, what we're doing is we're putting a specific focus away from the activity of the neocortex of the brain, the logical, rational, analytical mind, and putting our focus into our body, putting our attention away from the mind and into the body. And essentially when we do that, what happens is the brain now starts functioning on what's called alpha and theta brainwave states. These are the brainwave states that directly tap into our inner pineal gland, which is responsible for secreting these hormones that I mentioned. So essentially what we allow ourselves to do is when we take our mind away from our busy body mind, which we're commonly in throughout the day, is we give our, our brain the opportunity to reset its functioning and come back to the mind that releases. Essentially the system is called the parasympathetic nervous system we evoke a response through that system, through this nervous system, throughout the body, increasing this parasympathetic response at the same time in conjunction to being in a mild state of stress. This stress comes from a breath retention. Again, I'll explain the technique in the second part of the video. But part of this breath technique is that we hold our breath on a retention, on an exhale, for quite a significant amount of time. 
what that does is it, it, it gives a signal to the brain of slight stress, of slight danger, that I'm not breathing and something needs to kick in. But at the same time now we've got this relaxed state of mind, so we're relaxing ourselves through a stressful um, response in the body. And what it does is it causes an adaptation to stress in a way, way different way than what we know how to deal with in our modern society. Because we've done away with primitive stresses such as being faced with um, stress against environmental um, harsh climates or um, you know the possibility of being eaten by a saber-toothed tiger, such things don't really evoke a response in us anymore. So we haven't learned how to relax our mind and relax ourselves in an event of stress which was very necessary for survival and is key to survival if faced in a dangerous situation. This is where you see the difference between someone who has a calm, relaxed response, for example, in an airplane accident versus the person who stresses, panics, freaks out, and usually ends up perishing because of their stressed response that they don't know how to balance out with a parasympathetic, calm response. So you can almost start to get a feel already for just how powerful this is when we start to learn how to evoke this parasympathetic response in this stressful condition, how beneficial this is. So that's the first two components, the focus along with the breath. The third component is regular cold immersion. Now why cold immersion? Why exposure to cold climate, harsh conditions? Well, the first one is in conjunction with the first two. That's pretty obvious, that when you get into really cold temperatures, such as 10 degrees and below, what happens is the body automatically, the mind sets out a reaction saying, I'm in danger, I need to get out of this environment. And so immediately it evokes a stress response in the body. Now, when we do this, when we immerse ourselves into these cold conditions, but we keep um, but we've evoked a parasympathetic response, that calming response in the nervous system. Now what happens is we elicit a calm response during this extreme stressor. Extremely beneficial for that obvious reason, as I spoke to with the breath retention, same thing. But now also, the second component to this is that the cardiovascular system, which is the part of the body that heals and repairs all the tissues and organs throughout the body, the cardiovascular system only gets triggered as a response during exercise through the veins and arteries, the veins and arteries that direct pump, direct blood flow through the heart. That part of our cardiovascular system that gets evoked during exercise only makes up 26% of our cardiovascular system. The rest of the 74% of our cardiovascular system is made up of micro artery, micro vessels that run throughout the peripheral body, throughout the peripheral nervous system, and through the peripheral organs. And so what happens is that this system, because it doesn't get conditioned and it doesn't get strengthened or utilized over time, becomes weak. And this weak cardiovascular system the 74% running through our body is essentially what carries nutrients through the bloodstream into our entire body and allows for healing and uh, reparation and restoration during sleep, during rest periods, after exercise and when we're faced with environmental bacteria um, such as common colds and other things that, um, that, combat, that um, are combated by the immune system. So, um, this 74% of the cardiovascular system, which we can't largely strengthen through exercise, gets strengthened through exposure to extreme cold climate. Why is that? Well, because when that system is, when we're exposed to cold, what that system does is it sends a trigger and a release saying, guys, we need to start pumping more oxygen through the extremities or else we're going to suffer, or else extremities are going to suffer adverse um, reaction from this. So what it does is it makes the cardiovascular system, the peripheral now 74%, start making contractions to pump that blood throughout 
our entire network that's peripheral in our body. And that's just exactly why cold immersion is such a vital tool to increasing that blood flow. So now you can imagine in combination with regularly putting more O2 through our system and also immersing ourselves in cold, exposing ourselves to the cold elements, we strengthen that cardiovascular system at the same time as put more oxygen through it. Essentially, what we end up with is this super strong network that has a super strong immune function and a super strong response to healing the body on all levels. So that's why this system is such an amazing system. Like I said, it's, it's probably the most profound technique that I've ever come across. It's so simple. It's just those three components, so easy to do, um, and it has such amazing benefits. So in the next video, I'm going to share the breathing and the concentration part of, um, of this three, three tier system. Um, the third one is just simply to start out with the cold, is to start out with um, exposing ourselves gradually to cold temperatures. That starts with, um, in our first week when we get started, is to have our regular warm shower. But at the end of our warm shower, I want you to turn the hot water off completely and just use cold water for 30 seconds. 30 seconds of just cold water with the breathing fully and letting go, calm breathing that you're about to learn in the next video. So that's how we do it. We gradually expose ourselves to cold temperature. Eventually, what we do is we um, get into... we we find a, a way to uh, get ourselves immersed in cold. So um, I have a chest freezer specifically for ice bricks that I freeze and then I put them into the bathtub. I get my, my bath down to five degrees and I sit in that water for longer and longer durations frequently. Um, so that'll come later on and we'll talk more about that later. But just in this first week when you get started with this method, just start with, like I said, you can have your regular warm shower but turn the warm water off. Um, don't, don't startle yourself. Turn off gradually toward the end of your shower and stand in the cold water. Let it come over you for 30 seconds in this first week. See how you go and then gradually increase that to a minute. Eventually we turn down our hot water more and more until we're just having cold showers. So um, yeah, experience it for yourself. Uh, watch the next video on um, how the method is done and then I'll, I'm going to be releasing a third video which is that we're going to do this breathing and concentration focus concentration together so uh, I know that you'll enjoy it have a go feel the benefits yourself feel the strength and vitality that opens up to you it happens relatively quickly I assure you you'll feel it within the first session you'll feel that calm of mind you'll feel that um, that stress decreasing almost immediately so give yourself that opportunity and um, I really hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next video.